Kia ora tato. Today we talk about surface resistance for U-value calculations. This is not the same as mechanical surface resistance, but a quantification of the added resistance from radiation and convection at building surfaces in contact with air. So if you look at a building element like a wall, on the outside there is a thin layer of still air and some radiation from the materials at the surface. And the same is true for the interior surface. Surface resistance is abbreviated to RSI, which stands for Resistance Surface Interior, and RSE, which is Resistance Surface Exterior. If there is no thin layer of air on the outside, for example if the outer surface is bordering the ground, there will be no added outer resistance to the heat flow through this building element. If there is no air on the inside of the building element, it will be dead and we are not considering this case. On the inside of a building, the surface resistance depends on the dominant direction of the heat flow. Stack effects impact on the stillness of air. And air at the bottom of an enclosure is assumed to be stiller than at the top. The resistance is therefore highest if the dominant heat flow is downwards and lowest if it's upwards. Horizontal heat flow is somewhere in the middle. On the outside, the surface resistance is typically quite low because it's typically rather more windier on the outside. Where the outside air is pacified, for example due to a cladding in front of a heat emitting surface, the exterior surface resistance can be assumed as higher than typical. The increase can be calculated exactly, but a permitted shortcut is to assume the interior surface resistance to apply to the exterior as well in these cases. Now these are tabular values and they are typically fine. A couple of assumptions underlie the genesis of these values. Conduction as a fraction of heat transfer is neglected due to the low thermal conductivity of air and the emissivity of the surface is assumed to be 0 0.9 which, is, which will apply to most surfaces but not to reflective surfaces like shiny metals. For other cases you can do calculations. You find a link to the spreadsheet in the description. The lower the temperature the higher the radiative fraction of this resistance and the lower the wind speed, the higher the convective part. Changing the emissivity of the surface has dramatic impact. Point 0.1 would equate to a shiny metal here. Be aware though that very few surfaces stay shiny in use. Remember you only have surface resistance if you have a surface in contact with air. In other words, not under a slap on grate. And this is all you need to know about surface resistance for U value calculations. In another video, I talk more about thermal conductivity, thermal resistance, and U value calculations. Thanks for watching!